All right, okay, your boy BQ once again checking in Impact Lounge with my reaction to Christian Cage becoming the Impact Wrestling, the new Impact Wrestling World Champion, defeating Kenny Omega on the debut episode, first match ever of AEW Rampage. I just finished watching the match this morning, Saturday morning. I stayed off social media all night. So this wouldn't be, I shouldn't say spoiled. Because if it happens live and you miss it, that's just your fault, right? But I didn't want to know who won. And I think those who had messaged me and texted me did a very good job of not letting me know that. And then I wake up this morning at 6 a.m. I'm a pretty early riser. I like to attack my day even even when I'm off. Uh, I wake up at 6 a.m. And being half asleep... I went to Facebook right away <laughs> and saw that uh, that Christian Cage won this match. So I was, I was pretty disappointed in myself, but uh, I, I did just finish watching the match. So I think there's a lot of Impact fans out there who really wanted to see somebody from Impact do this. This was definitely a curveball because we're... You know, we're talking ourselves into Josh Alexander winning the title. You know, possibly Eddie Edwards, Moose getting another crack. Does it come back around or where Rich Swan gets his comeuppance after the, the first go around? You know, we're, we're talking ourselves into different situations. And But I do think when Brian Myers won the number one contendership, I think that gave it away. You know, like, again, I love Brian Myers. One of my top four favorite wrestlers, but a guy who, in, in Impact, but a guy who wins matches with a clothesline is not going to wrestle Kenny Omega. We just, it, it just kind of makes sense, right? So I think that that kind of gave it away a little bit, but um, I think people did want to see someone from Impact win it, but it was, it was tricky though. It was always going to be tricky to navigate because... If someone was to beat Kenny Omega for the Impact Championship, then they're beating also beating the AEW World Champion. And that's not something you can imagine Tony Khan and the powers that be over there were, were going to be cool with. They weren't going to have Kenny lose um, while he's the World Champion for AEW when no one from AEW can beat him for that title. Or beat him, period, really. They, they're not going to have someone from Impact beat the dude. You know what I mean? So that's the part that sucks because we wanted to see someone get that that rub and that become that instant star whatever by beating Kenny. And that's not what happened. So Christian is the world champion. Him eventually dropping the title probably makes more sense. And as I said yesterday... Impact is going to have a lot more value in Christian, a former TNA guy, being the champion than trying to create a new star. It's just the way that the company is. It's, it's the way they've operated for a few years. They see more value in that. But I also think it, it's going to mean a few more eyeballs and a little more optimism and excitement for the weekly show. Because Kenny, even though Kenny's one of the best wrestlers in the world, that has run its course quite a bit with impact fans there was a lot of excitement at first but because the story wasn't in f unfolding in a way that a lot of impact fans were enjoying it kind of got to that point where it's like get kenny off my screen which is nuts because this is someone any company would love to have on their screen now when you're talking having christian cage on there a legitimate fan favorite. Like people are really going to be excited to tune in and see where this story goes, you know, cause we thought, Oh shit, is Kenny going to hold this title forever? I thought they were going to, they wanted to do Eddie Edwards and Kenny Omega bound for glory. That's that's truly where I thought this was going before Josh Alexander ultimately winning, but that's not what they did. Ken, Eddie has wrestled Kenny like 50 times in six-man matches. So that's probably Impact's way of saying, okay, we're going to get Eddie in the ring with him. All good. Let's talk about the match itself, though. I enjoyed the way that it was laid out quite a bit. This was the kind of wrestling I like 
where they didn't go for too many pins, but they went for quick pins. The near falls made a lot of sense. Like, you know, Christian Cage pulling Kenny Omega, you know, snapping his neck back onto the top rope and then immediately climbing up for a frog splash. They weren't milking the crowd, you know, before before going for big moves. They weren't, uh, you know, it was very fast paced once they got moving. They weren't hitting, you know, super finishers, which that's, that's a you know, a, a knock on AEW and, you know, Ring of Honor does it, NXT, you know, these super finishers that you're just like, dude, I mean, I think someone on AEW kicked out, this is about a month and a half ago, off a, out of a uh, second rope tombstone. You know, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. But there was none of that with this. And they found a creative way to kind of factor in a screw finish a little bit, but it made sense within the the context of what they do with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks and, and all these fools always getting involved and, and you know, causing the matches to end certain ways like you know when moose lost his match it was because you know the good the good brothers came down and and ruined the match so the tables were turned on and when they threw the the chair in there and then christian hits the kill switch and becomes a champion I'll, I'll say the one thing i really didn't like about this was that the aw announcers mark henry's horrendous first of all you guys know me and, and commentary he's bad um I'm a big AEW Dark fan, but I won't watch AEW Dark Elevation because Big Show Paul White is horrible on commentary. And uh, Mark Henry's getting that way too for me. After one match, <laughs> I haven't seen the whole episode yet, but after one match, I was like, dude, get him off commentary. Anyway, they made it a point several times. I mean, they probably made it a point three times before the match even started to let you know that the AEW championship was held in much higher much higher regard than the impact world title they make it they're careful not to call it the impact world championship they call it the impact championship uh with the exception of uh dasha gonzalez when she was announcing the match uh they, they call it the impact championship leaving the the word world out of there so i think many people probably picked up on that but they really made it a point. I mean, they hammered this motherfucker home that the Impact World Championship was not the AEW title. They they let you motherfuckers know that. I'm sorry I'm cursing, but I mean, it was so over the top. Again, probably three times before the match even started, and then a couple times th- throughout the match. So, you know... I would have liked to see a little more from Christian winning the titles, but I think it also, again, makes, makes uh, I mean, as far as his reaction, but I think it makes sense in the context of the story because AEW Championship is what he's really trying to win. But this was a good way of getting the titles off Kenny. It's just unfortunate that someone from Impact couldn't get that rub, and they're not going to get that rub because beating Christian Cage is not the same as beating Kenny Omega. It just isn't. We got great matches from Kenny, and that was cool. But now, you know, we're going to see Christian Cage, which I think people have a lot more interest now as far as Impact fans uh, in seeing. And, and I think it's going to make some sense because Impact loves to, you know, you're, there's going to be so much Christian Cage content on YouTube and Impact Plus and all that shit this week. Flashbacks, throwbacks, whatever you call it. It's, it's going to be nauseating, I'm sure. But I think, I think some of the former fans who were kind of in and out of the company who do remember the days with Christian Cage. I think I think they're going to have some interest in seeing what he can do with them now. He'll probably wrestle more than Kenny Omega did, but I think there's going to be a little more interest because when the company taps into the history, I don't think they necessarily bring in back people a lot of the times that people really want to see, you know, like ODB and and PD Williams and th- things like that. I don't think that's like drawing old viewers back in. You know, there's a little bit of nostalgia that's cool. But I think there's there's going to be some you know fans who are prior fans of the company who might have some interest in seeing what Christian Cage can do again because he has a history of being treated well and presented well by the company. You feel me on that? So you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm sure many people are disappointed that it was Christian. But in, in the grand scheme of things, the Impact World title was in the first match of Rampage. Lots of eyeballs, lots of key demographic watching it, hot crowd that was into it. It was a good look for the brand 
of Impact Wrestling. I'm glad Scott Nemore wasn't on commentary. He was on commentary last week with AEW. He's like, oh, thank you so much for having me. You know, I'm glad I'm glad he wasn't there this time. Uh, but it was a good touch to have him come in the ring, give Christian a hug after that. And then, um, you know, Jurassic Express is messing with Christian Cage right now. They're very over in AEW. So that is a team. That is a, a tag team that we want to see step through the forbidden door and come over to Impact at some point. Like, that's going to be... Uh, really big. I don't like Jurassic Express. I hate them, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'm really not a Jungle Boy fan. I think they're trying to make him a thing when he's not. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, but that's a team you want to get involved with with Impact in any way, shape, or form if you can. That's what I got for you guys today. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>